Now, the study published in the Journal of Communications found under current greenhouse gas emissions, it could collapse this century as soon as two years from now. All right, we're already seeing serious impacts climate change is having on wildlife. And now, a study from the University of Washington is revealing a threat to Pacific seabirds. In fact, researchers are saying that it's already in motion and may have heartbreaking consequences. John Ramos explains. For years, we've been told that climate change is on its way. Well, now it's here, and it appears that birds are going to be some of its first victims. They call them marine heat waves, giant blobs of warm water that form in the Pacific Ocean. Allison Hermance with Wild Care Rehabilitation Hospital in San Rafael says the heated water can have catastrophic effects on seabirds. It causes the fish to go deep. And the fish going deeper means that birds like common murres and Cassin's auklets, some of the smaller seabirds that we have off our coast here in California, those birds can't dive deep enough to get the, the food that they need. That's what happened in 2015 when hundreds of common murres, a cute little seabird that looks like a miniature penguin, began showing up on Bay Area beaches. The International Bird Rescue of Fairfield was inundated with them. We normally get maybe 150 of the common MERS every year, but we had more than 500 of them over a three-month period in 2015. Um, and they were, they were stranding with signs of serious nutritional stress. Um, you know, their feathers were bleached. They didn't have the energy to um, molt their feathers normally. Um, yeah, they were essentially starving to death. The problem is the marine heat waves are getting worse. A new study from the University of Washington analyzed 29 years of data from Northern California to Alaska and came to a grim conclusion. Quote, given that these events likely include some of the largest marine bird mortality events that have ever been documented, it is likely that the abundance of North Pacific marine birds was reduced by millions of birds as a result. Dr. James Harvey, a marine biology researcher with San Jose State, participated in the study. He says the marine heat waves are occurring more often and over larger areas, and the consequences may make our worst fears a reality. Because it's uh, occurring so fast, um, most species are not going to be able to uh, adapt to it um, and be able to survive. We don't know when, you know, how long that's going to take. Um, but no doubt there'll be probably, as I said, some winners and losers. And by that, you mean extinctions? Yes, that, by that we mean extinctions. Back at Wildcare, the cages are all tarped off to protect the patients from another deadly threat, the avian flu. And while seabirds may be accustomed to dealing with an ever-changing environment, Hermance wonders when it will all be too much for them watching these birds populations plummet because of these hot water marine heat wave events is really, really scary and it says a lot about what's happening to our environment. Of course, the worst part is we know of no way to stop it. Animal care experts say all we can do now is try to eliminate any other activities that may be putting pressure on seabirds so they can at least have a fighting chance.